What's going on guys? Vic PP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we have another marketplace find. Don't don't get your panties in a bunch. This wasn't free. Uh, <laughs> this is actually coming off from offer up. I've never experienced or seen one of these RK one-ups with a riser, this Street Fighter 2 edition. This one has like, I don't know, like eight or nine, ten games on it. We're gonna modify it for either my niece, nephew, or the neighbor next door. Let's take a look. This LED marquee. Okay. All right, guys, you know the joke. Follow me on all the socials. What are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment down below. It's been a while since we've seen an arcade one-up on my channel slash in my garage. Little uh, quick rundown on this. Why did I get this? How much did I pay for it? <laughs> I waited until you hear that. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a nice little journey, but basically what we're doing on this one, we're gonna be taking this, it looks like there's 12 games on it, and yes, we will be modifying it, putting in 12,000 games, Pandora Box 18S Pro on this. Yeah, honestly, this is probably the cheapest way to get a arcade, multi-cade built, especially for very, very young nieces, nephews, and neighbors. Now, I always film every mod, anything arcade related, so, you know, I am gonna make a video on this. This is actually pretty interesting. Um, number one, again, it's been a while since I've seen an arcade one up. Um, this one caught my eye. Yes, I'm not gonna knock it, I'm not gonna lie. I do also look for arcade one ups, but now that I found, I, I found one, um, I'll probably look for one more for my other niece or nephew um, and then I'm probably never ever looking at an arcade one-up like many people are doing uh, at the time of shooting right now I believe they just released this whole like new like 12 in one it's something about paper boy and uh, the arcade one-ups to me are just they're a thing of the past I mentioned in many videos before they opened up the doors to, you know, people, you know, and home arcades, um, you know, luckily with their in retail space. That's really like, you know, the traction it got. Um, I remember I was in an arcade one up modders group and I just removed myself from that because it was just, we're not going that deep into it. Let me explain. Number one, why? Why did I get this? What, what are you doing with this Vic? Why'd you get this? The logic is pretty simple. Again, I have one niece and I have one nephew. They are young. They're under the age of, right now, to date, they're three. One is three and one is nine months. I also have my kiddo that's three years old. Uh, I don't have to get her an arcade because she has our arcade in our man cave arcade basement that you've guys seen on my live streams in, in the past. So for my kiddo, she doesn't really need an arcade because I have, yeah, I have those. But I've always been looking at getting an arcade for my niece, my nephew, uh, you know, they both live in the same house, they're brother and sister, so it's gonna mostly go to them. But I also do have neighbors and, you know, neighborhood kids that, uh, you know, my daughter has been friends with. There's actually one of his, her main friends here, uh, literally two houses over. He's a five-year-old boy. Um, they've been great friends, like, ever since, you know, she's been starting to walk. So, honestly, I've had this cabinet. This cabinet, this video is long overdue, but I just got the Pandora box. Uh, he's had this cabinet for like three months and uh, I did grab it. You know, again, I have intentions of really giving it to my niece and nephew, but I gave it to him to hold. Um, yada, yada, yada. He's been playing this for three months. I took it back and now I'm going to put 10,000 games in it. Honestly, the plus side to this, and again, once you hear the price I paid, you're going to be looking at right now. I mean, with the buttons and all that, new joysticks, you're looking at a completely converted Street Fighter 2 Arcade 1-Up for, I would say max is like 300 bucks. Wait right until you hear what I paid for this machine. I get my Pandora box, I get deals on eBay from my main seller. That's a hundred bucks for the Pandora box. Luckily in this situation, I have buttons and joysticks laying around so the buttons and joysticks don't cost me anything. But 
you know, figure if you want to, you know, be fair, uh, you know, what is it? It's two dollars a button times twelve, and then you got your joysticks. It's like under sixty bucks, let's just say. Uh, and you know, like I mentioned before, getting a multi cave for a kiddo youngin under five, it's a no brainer. Now, why Vic? Why now? You've had this machine for three months. Why didn't you automatically multi cave it? Uh, number one, I wanted the neighborhood kid to like experience it. They always come over and they see like all my arcade builds. They're like, what? They all go like nuts and crazy, but I kind of just always put it to like Street Fighter. Uh, this is their first experience with a multi cave. My nieces and nephews, when they come over, same thing. I just put one game. I always mention that when it comes to kiddos, I just leave one game on and they can't exit, they can't navigate and stuff. But the real reason after three, four months that I purchased this and I got this and now I'm modding it, I can't speak too much on it, but um, let's just say a sports agency contacted me. They're looking for a multi cave for an athlete. Again, I can't speak too much because no deals are made just yet. But um, they basically got a quote from like one of those like pool spa companies that sell like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. They were gonna sell him a Pac-Man and an NBA Jam machine for $10,000. We're not gonna go into that. Again, I, I don't have any rights yet to talk about that. But somebody messaged me, I gave them a price. I gave them the option for a Pandora box build or a PC-based system. They are leaning towards the Pandora box build, but they wanted to see if there's certain games on this. And the only way to definitely determine that is for me to grab a Pandora's box. I do also have a lot of customers. Again, I'm on Facebook Marketplace. I have people that email me. They ask me a lot of questions about Pandora boxes, specifically about games. Um, so I said, you know what? This right here is really mine. Uh, you know, if I ever need to look up a game, it's always good to have a Pandora box laying around, which I don't, I never have. Usually I'm the type where I buy it once I get a customer that gives me a deposit. Because I really don't need Pandora boxes. I, I'm more leaning towards the PC-based system. But again, there's pros and cons to every system, as I've made many times. So, this is now up. We are going to modify it with this 10,000 game Pandora box. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the modding process. I'm going to modify it, then I'm going to come back and shoot. But let's just talk about this specific cabinet here. Again, this is the Street Fighter II um, with a riser. I've never seen an RK one up with a riser. Um, long story short, like I said, I found this one on OfferUp. It's actually very interesting. This right here on OfferUp was for 100 bucks. And anytime I see an RK one up for that price, it's usually like a Pac-Man machine um like i said if you didn't get the gist of it why do i look for rk one-ups again i have i'm looking to get maybe one more um just for like the neighborhood kid because again i have my niece nephew and i have the neighbors there's multiple kids in the neighborhood but there's like one that my daughter like you know they always play together so i'm like all right he's the one that's holding this one now um so i'm always looking and um you know a hundred bucks for an RK one up, you have the screen already, you have the cabinet and such. It's like a no brainer. Another alternative I was thinking about, I was like, I could get a bar top, I could make a bar top, but now I need to make the stand. Uh, and again, if I'm, if I'm looking for like something cheap, it would always be GRS. GRS and they're like bar tops, they're very cheap with the custom artwork. But like once you get everything down packed and after you get the 22 inch screen without the Pandora box, you're in like about maybe four to 500 bucks. I could be wrong on that. No, I could, I think I'm right. I think the, 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 the bar top cabinet alone with artwork and, and the buttons is like what, like 250? You know what I mean? Now you gotta get the screen, now you gotta get the speakers, now you gotta get the power strip, now you gotta get the Pandora box. It all adds up in the end, you know what I mean? Once I saw this for a hundred bucks, I'm like, this is a no brainer. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. And it had a riser. And again, like I mentioned before, usually in the hundred range, it's like a Pac-Man. This right here with the six button layout, two players. I could have passed that up. Now the one thing though is like, it is kind of not assembled, right? He actually put like four wood screws through the side walls to anchor the, uh, the actual riser. Um, I don't think that's correct. Cause it's definitely not supposed to be, <laughs> but I wasn't gonna complain. Again, Street Fighter 2, this is my first ever arcade one up. That's like the newer version with like, this one has 12 games on it. This one has the newer volume and the lighted marquee. 
I already knew I was gonna modify it, but then I said to myself, let the kiddo, the neighbor, just kind of beat it up. Because we all know buttons and joysticks on these are total crap. But uh, now that I have this potential customer that they want a Pandora box build, I now will modify it. Yep. So I'm gonna do that today. That's my Saturday plan today. We're gonna be modifying the Street Fighter 2. So when we come back, this that's inside of this will be inside of this. Stay tuned. Real quick, I forgot to mention the reason why I started this. Uh, my thoughts on this versus the other RK one ups that I've experienced. This is this is nice. Is it like I think it's like 600 bucks for this? Is it worth that? I can't tell. I can't tell you that. Screen is what it is. I got the I got the converter board on it. The light and marquee is pretty cool, but it is faded. Like I said, I saw it originally for 100 bucks, and I was like, this is a steal. It's already like said, I don't have to cut wood, I don't have to get artwork involved. It's a pretty basic like Street Fighter one. I actually wanted like the Yoga Flame, that red one. That one looked pretty cool, like a Dynamo style cabinet. Um, or the Konami cut, I should say. The control panel looks like a Konami cab. The Dynamo one that they make is pretty cool, but like for that price tag, no, no, no. Keep in mind, it's still an RK one up. So, yes, uh, Riser. The height is actually pretty comfortable. You know, screen is screen, and screen size always bugs me on these. But again, it's for kids that are gonna be beating it up. Again, like I mentioned before, why am I not gonna just build an arcade cabinet for my niece and nephew? They're too young. Uh, I would rather get artwork that they want. Uh, you know, I could put their names and put like red and pink or blue and pink, you know, his name versus her name. I didn't want to, I don't want to do that because honestly when you invest or make something like that you want to make sure it kind of lasts long so I don't want it where like they're 12 and they're going to be like this is like kiddish like, I don't want to deal with that so later on in the far future yes they will get their own custom arcades that's a given <laughs> but yes this right here easy now also you know I can always resell it so yeah there you go let's uh let's get to modding <laughs> all right fast forward to the next day and tis completed Street Fighter 2 Arcade 1-Up. I don't even know what this version is called. Capcom Legacy. There you go. Capcom Legacy with riser modified with 10,000 games. Pandora Box 18S Pro. It's 99% done. I ordered blue buttons. So right now we have the reverse Italian flag as the button layout as far as colors. Uh, I ordered blue buttons on Amazon and it was supposed to be next day. And uh, yeah, it's not next day, it's coming from China. So it is what it is. I have a whole plethora of buttons, but sadly I don't have blue. I do want to keep, anytime I do these RK one ups, especially with the Street Fighter, I like to keep my red, white, and blue. I was going to take the blue from that arcade, the Ultimate Arcade, Chicago Gaming, but I was like, no, I don't want to touch something that, I just don't want to touch it. I'm just going to leave it be. But all in all, took me about six hours total, I would say. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's modding. It's not instant. Uh, it takes time. The one thing I was missing, I was missing a 3.5 millimeter jack, the headphone jack that goes from the Pandora box into my newly installed volume control board. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's, let's take a closer look at what I did to this, uh, legacy cabinet. So as you can see, you got your basic six button layout, which is great. That's why I like these RK one outs with the six buttons. So you don't have to be doing any drilling. I did drill two coin buttons though. Usually when it comes to Pandora boxes, I like to have it set to coin mode. This way in a track mode, it is showing you the different games. If I set this to free play, it's just gonna keep showing you this one game. So the coin buttons were added. Uh, like I mentioned before, I, I ordered blue buttons. Uh, so these are all your basic standard uh, hat buttons, concave, non-LED, real arcade competition buttons. Blue ones coming in along with these star buttons. Those are the ones with the actual player indents. But I had black and white buttons laying around. So I did my whole swap out the inside. So I have black rim, white button there. The on and off switch, that does work. Again, shout out B Kong. I saw his video and I've always done that with any of these RK one ups. I do that mod with the on and off switch. And the last thing is the volume. I took out the slider and I put in this volume control board. Uh, I use this a lot on the arcade one up with the uh, the wall ones, the Pac-Man ones. I have several videos on my YouTube channel. So now this, the volume knob is here and it works exactly like it's written here. Going left is lowering the volume and going right is raising the volume. 
Now I'll take you into the rear later on, but take a look real quick. I did leave the lighted marquee. That marquee is actually connected to the Pandora box. Pandora box comes with an LED strip. Uh, it's inside the control panel. That's a 12 volt LED strip. I basically tapped into that. So yeah, it's very cool that, you know, RK one up now has the light and marquees. It is what it is. It's kind of faded, uh, but it works. We're not going to complain about that. The other thing that was very surprising, the stereo speakers, there's two speakers here. I did have to modify that. I took the whole speaker out. I took it apart desoldered the wires because the speakers originally are they're soldered wires into a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack um i could have put that directly into the pandora box but there's no way to control volume levels so i did have to go ahead and get that audio controller board but normally when i used to do arcade one-ups i did do my logitech z313s and i would put like the volume controller Usually like here, if I recall, yeah, I would have it here. Um, no longer need that. So I'll be honest, speakers are pretty loud on this. And uh, yeah, that's stock speakers, but again, new volume control board. Might as well load up some Street Fighter iconic stuff. Why not? Just take a look. So volume all the way to the left is off. That's max. Honestly? Pretty good. Again, Z313, I would have the subwoofer in it. Again, I'm trying to keep this on the low cost for my niece, nephew, slash neighbors. Think of beauty. Oh, come on. I haven't done, there you go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I haven't done a one-handed Hadouken in a while. Uh, again, now as far as like cost saving, I had majority of the buttons. I'm just missing the blues. Um, everything else I had here, I had it in stock. And then I did also put Sanwa joysticks on this. So the Sanwas are there. I have maybe about six more in stock. Uh, but yeah, so again, new buttons, new joysticks, audio controller, Pandora box, 18S Pro, running 10,000 games. Uh, there is a, a, a power strip in the rear, so I'll show you the rear. And again, the on and off works. This is it. This is done. Show you real quick the rear of the cabinet. Again, still some wiring to clean up. Again, the new um, LVSDS, whatever it is, LVDS converter board is in here. So that's all nice protected. I put cardboard there. We have the controls there. So I have two wires here. One is for the lighted marquee. This one right here is for the speakers. And uh, basically, if I ever have to take out the control panel, I have extra slack uh, on the speakers. But again, on the right side, you can see there we have our Pandora box. We have our 3.5 millimeter jack. You can see the control board for the audio. That's right here. Again, slack, just in case I ever have to take out the control panel and lift it, I have slack there. You can see the power strip all here. Again, modified the power strip. This way the switch is all good. Again, following B Kong's tutorial. And yeah, that is it. That is what it looks like in the rear. This is ready for its new home. All right, well, there you guys have it. Another arcade one up. Again, this is the Capcom Legacy with riser, modified to have 10,000 games. This also benefits me. Uh, I've gotten many requests, many questions about the Pandora box. Does it have this game? How well does it play such and such game? Uh, again, I have that potential customer coming up from the sports agency. And the one thing I was second guessing myself was NBA Jam. I wasn't sure if it was a Super Nintendo version. Uh, and also I have to see if it's a four player arcade playable. It does have the arcade version and it is four players, but players one and two on the deck is players one and two. So that means you're on the same team. Again, all in all, solid stuff, 10,000 games. You wanna play some PSP, N64, you can't go wrong with it. VicVP Game Case Arcade. Good night.